on guys, it's Lexi Video 3 Welcome back to my channel. It's a great day. I hope you are having a great day. Today is Tuesday. It is snowing outside, so I didn't have school. video I am going to be testing viral TikTok gadgets with you guys literally all I had to do was scroll on TikTok for like two hours and I found so many cool gadgets that I just have to test out and I want to try on camera so of course I went straight to Amazon found every single gadget that I could find that I saw on TikTok ordered it and now we're about to test it out and see if it works all right so the first thing we have uh, okay let's keep in mind I ordered this stuff from Amazon a good three weeks ago maybe two weeks ago it's been a while basically so I kind of don't remember everything I ordered, but I know that I saw it on TikTok and that I thought it was a cool gadget or else I would have ordered it. But this is called an iWalk. Oops. This is a pocket battery. Small but strong. This literally looks like Apple. This looks like an Apple product. It is literally in Apple product boxing. Well, that at least that's just what it looks like. So normally if it wasn't a pandemonium outside, I would just use my teeth, but you don't know what's lurking on here. Oh, yes. I remember this. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the packaging and this was a really cool portable charger that I saw and it's supposed to it's supposed to be really good so literally what you do to make it work is just plug it into your phone like it's not a bunch of extraness you know you don't have to have a bunch of cords attached and hanging around everywhere no it literally plugs right into your phone so I'm gonna grab my phone really quick and see I don't know if it's charged already or if we're gonna have to let it charge for a little bit before seeing if it actually works but what I thought was cool about this was you literally just plug it into your phone and then you continue using your phone like normal and you don't have this long dog leash of cords hanging around your portable charger so it's called an iWalk because I think it only works for iPhones over on the side it says type C so if you have a USB-C you know I think it works or maybe that's just how you charge it I don't know let's grab my iPhone and test it out okay so the real test is will it work through my phone case that's a pet peeve I hate having to take my phone case off of my phone to charge it so I'm not sure if it's already charged let's click the button and find out oh it's charging that is so cool. Okay, that is actually super dope. I'm gonna show you guys. It does fit right in and I don't have to take my case off. So ready to watch this. Yo. That's actually fire. And they did send it with two bars of charge out of three. So I'm sure that can probably fully charge my phone at least two times. This is so convenient. Do you see a long dog leash of cords? No, you literally just plug it in and it's so small. You can put this in your pocket, your purse. Literally, this is awesome. I'm so gonna be using this, especially right now. We are all snowed in where I live. We don't get a lot of snow in the South. My mom has been on us to charge our phones just in case the power goes out and stuff. So this is actually really convenient, especially for right now. But I think it's so cute. It even kind of matches my phone case a little bit. But I think this is so cute and it's really convenient. And I give this, we're going to rate it. We're going to rate this. What was that? We're going to rate this um, out of stars. So like one through five. I give this a five out of five stars. This is so dope. It's super convenient. There's nothing big and bulky about it. I don't have to carry a bunch of cords. I can still use my phone as normal and it's supposed to charge your phone really, really well. So sweet. They gave us a charger to charge the actual battery. I definitely recommend. The next gadget we have is... Oh, this is a cube timer. Okay, so I bought this because I saw it on TikTok. Uh, I don't know. It's a cube charger. Uh, charger. It's a cube timer. So apparently... Something sounds a little broken. <laughs> it's supposed to be a timer. So you can do one, three, five, and 10 minutes. And I guess what I like about this, if you need to set a quick timer, maybe it's to brush your teeth, the amount of time you're supposed to brush your teeth, or maybe it's to like bake some cookies, or I'm trying to think of every time I might need a timer. I don't know, but it's a convenient timer. We're gonna need some batteries, it looks like, yeah. Uh, what is broken? Okay, we need two AAA batteries. I will be right back. Okay, I got some batteries. Let's plug these in. I'm not liking this rattling. Something's broke. High, low, off? What's the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if I set it this way and have the 10 facing up, it's a 10 minute timer. Oh, that's cool. If I face the one facing up, it's a one minute timer. I'm gonna let this one minute timer go and we'll see if we uh, if it goes off. <sighs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so... Three minutes, 
five minutes, ten minutes, one minute, no minutes. That's cool, actually. Oh, wait, I got a better idea. Okay, so say you don't like getting up in the morning. You know what they should have done? They should have made this an alarm clock. And then when you want more time on the clock, be like, ah, it's too early, five more minutes. I might keep this on the side of my bed and just like, every time I want to time myself. This is cool. Time to rate it. So it is a little pointless, but at the same time, if you don't want to take out your phone and set a timer and you just want to set one really quick, like, like maybe that quick or that quick or that quick, then this might be cool to have on your bedside table or in your office. I don't know. But let's give it a rating. I rate this three out of five stars. One, because it's kind of inconvenient, not inconvenient, but it's kind of useless because we live in a world of technology and we all have timers on our phones. But at the same time, it's super cool. You could just kind of flip it and it'll just start timing. So I do think that's a cool gadget. I mean, it is a gadget. So I give it a three out of five stars. I mean, what would you give it? What would you give this gadget? Comment below. Oh, I'll have comments. Moving on to the next gadget, number three. Here we have a magnetic key holder. Always in the first place you look. I don't know, that's just what it says. This is a magnetic key holder. We are figuring out this together. I just saw a TikTok on it and I was like, shoot, that looks cool. Order. Here it is. So I guess it's just one big magnet. The question is, how heavy of a set of keys can it hold? Oh. Did it just give us these for fun? What are these for? All right, so this is my front door and my broken door. This is where I'd stick this thing. I don't know. This is where I feel like it'd be most convenient. Not down here, because then it gets in front of the lights and stuff, but maybe like right here. So you apparently just pull the sticker off and stick. Ah! I'm not gonna want this here. I wanna put stuff on this wall. All right, so I changed my mind. I, I know I wanna use that wall, that particular wall in the future. I have to put something on that wall. So, we're over here. This is my closet door now. Same thing, stick it on the wall. I'm gonna stick it right here. That's straight. That's cool, look at clown. All right, the ultimate test is to see if it can hold my keys. I'm not really sure how heavy my keys are, but it did hold those little key rings, but you know, my keys are obviously heavier than that, so let's grab them. To be quite honest, I feel like the cloud should be a little bigger. I mean, what if you wanna put more than one, one key on here, you know what I'm saying? But here we go, here's the first test. We're gonna see if we can just hold a pair of just normal, nothing is on it, just this is just a pair of car keys, not a pair. It's just a car key. So it should be able to hold it, you know, it's not that, not that heavy. Okay, okay. We have this wallet. Now the wallet is a little heavier than the keys. It's got some weight to it. Oh! Here it is, these are my keys. You guys can see I have a lot of stuff on my keys. I got my AirPods. That's a lot of weight right there. My Michael Jackson keychain. And then my key key. Yeah, okay, so, and then this whole thing, which is, you know, heavy. Let's see if it can withstand the weight. Oh, that's cool. I'm leaving this on the wall. Then like when you're ready to go, oh my. That's so cool. Look. Time to rate this product. Uh, I think this is so much cooler than I anticipated it to be. I thought it was gonna be a little less cool, but that's actually really cool. And I'm glad I picked here instead of there because I need that wall. I give it a five out of five stars because it is quite convenient and it actually holds my keys. The next thing I wanna test, what is the heaviest set of keys this cloud can hold? That's what I wanna test next. That's the real test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff and put it on my keychain just to make it heavy and see if it can hold it. All right, so we added this. I'm pretty sure it'll still hold it. I have a lot of faith. Ta-da! Now let's add something heavier. We're gonna add this. You might look at it and be like, oh, that's not heavy, but it is added weight. Let's add this portable straw. All right, like I said, it doesn't look like it's that much heavier, but that is a lot of added weight. Moving on to the next gadget. See, my cloud is still there. I actually really like that. I think I might keep it there. USB clock fan. So apparently this is just a clock fan that you plug into any USB and it spins and it's a fan and a clock. I'm pretty sure this is for like, if you have those computers with USB ports, but all my Mac users who use like newer Macs, yeah, screwed. But that's okay. This is still can be very handy. This is what it looks like. 
It's just a fan with the USB and this button. So I'm really curious to see how this works. It's very bendy, so I can like rotate it. Let's take this over to a USB port and try it out. Okay, so I'm at my desk now and I have this cool desk where I got some plugs and some USB ports. So unplug that. We're gonna plug this fan in. Luckily for me, I do a lot of my work here at my desk. I do all my YouTube work here. I do my school work here, my college work here, literally everything I do at this desk. So if I were to get hot on a nice summer day or something this would be really handy because look the port is right here let's see what this little tiktok gadget is talking about moment of truth where's the button hold up the button came off the button fell out what the heck where did it go <gasps> oh it's not Oh my, ow! So here it is, here's the clock fan. This is a really powerful fan. You can see it kind of got me a little bit, now I'm ashy. But this is a really powerful fan. And you can clearly see, how is it doing that? How is it doing that? That is so cool! Overall, this is really cool. It doesn't even hurt when I get my finger stuck in it, I keep jumping anyways. That's a cool gadget. I think whether you actually use this to tell the time or just as a fan, the fan is freaking great. I mean, this fan is blowing and it's blowing fast. And I think the reason it's blowing so fast is because you want to be able to see the time clearly and you can't really see it. If it's going any slower, you won't be able to get the effect to actually see the numbers and stuff because it's literally going so fast. That's the only reason why we can see it. As a result, it's super hard. This fan is like blowing. What do you rate this? I rate this, I rate it a four out of five stars. I'm giving it four out of five stars because I probably will never use it again. But the overall gadget itself is really cool. And I think it's awesome. It's super light. Literally, you take this anywhere. So you just get hot at the library or something. Boom, plug it in. All right, so we are back on the bed for the next gadget. This is actually a baby nightlight, but I saw it on TikTok and I kind of wanted it. So this is the Vava baby nightlight. It's called Vava. I don't really know why. Now that I think about it, it's been so long since I ordered this. I can't really remember what it does. But we're going to find out together. Oh my God. It comes with stickers. It comes with stickers to decorate your light. Oh, yeah. So here it is. This is the Vava. Why I bought this light? Because how you turn it on, you just touch it. It's like an egg. We got the cord right here. I think it just plugs into this base. Why I think I bought this nightlight is because I think it doesn't have to be plugged in. This is the base where you charge it, but once it's charged, I think you could take it off and you could bring it with you to go pee at night if you are scared of the dark, or you could just have it on all night if you are scared of the dark. We can decorate it with these random stickers while it charges. <laughs> so we are back at my desk and I'm gonna plug this little base, which I think is where it just charges. I'm gonna plug it right here and then, that's how you know it's charging. To turn it on or off, you go like this twice. To dim it, you go like, you hold it down. For night light, you hold it down. <gasps> Look. Ah! That's how you make it um dim. That's cool. Now we can put the face on it. So we got these stickers, I guess, to make it have a face. Which one should we pick? That looks so cute. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so you can see the light, it's on, it's pretty bright. This is how I turn it off. This is how I turn it on. And this is how you dim it. Yes. And this is how you make it bright. You can see how bright this light illuminates. It's so bright. And then you can just pick it up and take it with you to potty. Wash your hands first. I mean after. You just don't bring it to the bathroom. You can just have it in the kitchen or in your bedroom or in your bathroom. It makes a lot of sense why it's for kids, like why it's a baby nightlight. But I am not upset. This thing is so cute. That's the face I gave him. Oh, he's so cute. I give this a five out of five. It's definitely useful. Five out of five stars. Everybody needs lights. Why not make cute ones that turn off when you pat it on its head? On his egg head. You guys think this is useless or like is it it's not useless everybody needs lights it's useful and it's <gasps> what it just changed what how did he oh my gosh i should have read all the instructions how did that happen how did that happen how did it just turn this color it looks like humpty dumpty this is perfect reading lights oh my gosh i can't wait to read <gasps> is this waterproof probably not but this would be so great as like a little bath light if you're taking a bath you just don't want all the light yep Okay, so if you want to change the color temperature, you just hold the logo down. So you tap and hold the logo and it'll change the color. 
to like a warmer color or a brighter color. That's cool. Okay, what would make it 50 times cooler is if it could change actual colors, like be purple and blue. I don't think it can, but if it could, 10 out of 5 stars. All right, moving on to the next gadget. So far, I am very proud of myself for picking the gadgets that I picked. All of these make sense and they're useful and I like that cloud the most. This is a bagel, bagel gilo. It's a bagel slicer, it slices bagels. I don't know why it has to have this fancy name that I can't pronounce. I'm gonna try. Gilo chuan. So this is a bagel slicer. It's got a fancy name. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. I was probably on the cooking side of TikTok when I saw this gadget, but I eat bagels a lot for breakfast and I hate slicing bagels. So this is a family gift. Everybody's gonna appreciate me for this. So this thing basically you stuff a bagel in it and it slices it. You know in those olden days when you'd put your head in the thingy? Oh, is that what a guillotine is? Where's my phone? I need to look this up. Guillotine. Guillotine. Okay, so this is a bagel guillotine and a guillotine is in the olden times when they would kill a guillotine when they would put the head in <laughs> Forget it. I think you know what a guillotine is Here's whoa, that looks dangerous. Hold up. Okay, that looks dangerous. I feel like I need to read the instructions on this one. Looks a little dangerous. I think I get it. So you, you put the bagel in here, right? And then you just the bagel oh. Don't put your fingers in here. So we have to take this downstairs because I don't have any bagels in my room. But we have to take it downstairs so we can try this guillotine out. Caution, sharp blade. Basically, a guillotine. You know what? Forget it. We're going to go downstairs and try this out on a real bagel to see if it works. Welcome to my kitchen. If you hear something, it's the dishwasher. Sorry. But we have the guillotine right here. Let's grab a bagel. All right, here is our subject. Our sacrifice is this bagel. And you shove it in the guillotine. This is the moment of truth. Here it is. You just shove the bagel in there and then you take the blade, the super sharp blade. All right. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be a clean bagel right there. Wait, hold on a minute. Look, look. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, I wasted this bagel I dropped it on the floor. But look at how crispy that was. I kind of want to do it again. I'm going to. So basically, shove the bagel in. Take your blade. Hello. All right, so the bagel, get, 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 I forgot how to say it already. It works. That's really cool. Wait, don't try this at home. I just want to see. Oh, I ruined the bagel. Don't do that. The bagel guillotine is a five out of five stars. That sliced the bagel nice and crispy. I like this thing. I, I like this. I'll be using it. All right, we're back upstairs on the bed where I do all of my reviews. Now for the next product. Like I said, the bagel guillotine is actually pretty cool and it's very satisfying to slice your bagels in that thing. It's actually called the bagel biter. So the original bagel guillotine. Guillotine, why do I keep saying it wrong? Five of a five of a... Next up, this is a white box. I don't know. It's just a white box. It's a fingerprint padlock. Oh, I know what this is. All right, I saw this on TikTok. You know, that's what the whole video is. TikTok gadgets. And it seems pretty awesome, so I ordered it. It is basically a fingerprint padlock. Think of a combination lock, but no combination, just your finger. So here we go. I'm going to actually probably need the instructions for this one. This is... Here it is, though. Fingerprint... Oh, got it. Fingerprint padlock. So it comes with this charger. Oh, you gotta charge it. All right, so you have to charge this fingerprint padlock. My question is, if you needed to lock something up, like say, I don't know, at work or school, and you had to take it off to go charge it for two hours, whatever you wanted to lock up is now just free for the world while it charges. That's kind of dumb. It might still be a cool gadget. Let's see. An app? You need an app? You have to register? What? What the? F what? What the? What? All right, so you have to download the app called uh, Oclock. 
Ocklock. Ocklock. It's called Ocklock. Or is it called OKLock? Okay Ocklock. Alright, so we are going to go download the app that apparently we need to use the lock. So you have to register and everything. So I'm going to do that and we'll be right back with you. Alright, they sent us this like QR code thingy that you're supposed to scan so that you can add your lock into the phone. You're supposed to name the lock, but it can't go over eight characters. What am I supposed to name it? Fart. That's what I'm going to name it for real. Fart. Okay. Here we go. I have the app downloaded on my phone. Now we're about to see. Unlock. It opened! Click to unlock again. Alright, so here it is. I named the lock fart because literally you can barely name it anything. It's got eight characters. I don't know what I'm supposed to name it with eight characters. So I could really unlock the lock using my phone. And then to unlock it, you just click this middle button. And also, what's cool, it shows you how charged the lock is. So it's, it's right now it's at 93%. But if you want to unlock it, you just click a button. That's kind of cool. And then there's the fingerprint setting. So I have to register my fingerprint. Please put the finger on fingerprint identifier and do operation according to cartoon hint. The app is terrible. This app sucks. All right, I think I registered my fingerprint. Are we good? Let's try it out. So I put my fingerprint in. The app for this actual lock kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But whatever, we got it. Let's see if it works. I got my fingerprint in there. It doesn't work. Hello. This thing is not opening. Press the finger again. 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 Regist successful. Regist, not even register. Regist. All right. It does not open, bro. I got both of my fingers registered in here. There's a lot of things done with this lock. <gasps> Wait, did I do that? Or did I click the button? Hold on, I might have just did it. Hey! <laughs> We got the lock open. I'm gonna give you an up close example. <gasps> okay, so here's the thing that's dumb about this. You have to be connected to Bluetooth. So there has to be a, a Bluetooth connection for this to work. So my question is, you can unlock it from your phone just by clicking the button. And once it's locked, you should be able to open it with your finger. For some reason, this finger does not unlock it. This one does. My question is, if I don't have Bluetooth on, right? So say, oh, I forgot my phone somewhere, or maybe I lost my phone, right? Phone gone, no phone. I, I need to turn the Bluetooth off. How do you open it? So say I don't have my Bluetooth here anymore, right? Will it still open? It will. It's not as stupid as we thought. It just takes a stupid long time to set up. Um, I'm done fooling with this fingerprint lock. It's decent, I guess. I think you absolutely have to have your phone on you. And then in order to open it, you have to have your Bluetooth connected. So basically, the time it would take you to figure out how to open the freaking lock, by that time, you could have just put in a combination, like a normal lock, and you would have been fine. So, I mean, the concept is cool. The application sucks. It's really bad. So maybe if somebody made a better version of this, it'd be better, but it's actually really stupid. It has to be connected to Bluetooth and my finger literally doesn't open it. I've put my finger on here a billion, jillion times. And imagine this is somewhere like, I don't know, like outside or something. It does not seem like it's outside proof whatsoever. Basically the only way this is, is unlocking is when I click the button on my phone. I don't understand. Officially, I'm done with that stupid padlock. It is a cool, idea it would be a cool design if the stupid lock actually worked but to be quite honest what they're advertising it for a fingerprint padlock it's not opening with my finger it opened like twice with my finger but other than that it won't open so i give that a one out of five stars i give it one star because the idea makes sense and it's a cool idea but everything else sucks the app sucks the fingerprint won't unlock it etc so i give that a one out of five dang we had a good streak going though i was getting straight bomb cool gadgets but that lock 
don't recommend. Next gadget, hopefully we can make up. We got something else to do with locks. Here we have more than storage, the time locking safe. So basically this is a box. You shove whatever you want into it. You set a timer and when the timer's open, the box will open. I must have been on like strict parent TikTok. I don't know what side of TikTok I was on when I came across this gadget, but uh, it says say bye bye to for the next. Ooh. So uh, it's advertising here that somebody's parents shoved their PlayStation remote in here and their mouse, which that's so dumb. You can you literally use a computer without a mouse, Karen. So let's just test the gadget out. We're here to see if the gadget is what it says it is. So this is a safe, the time locking safe. Uh-oh, stop and read before using. I'm gonna read it. Failure to read the user guide has led some customers accidentally locking, inside, locking items inside for longer than wanted and having to break the base. Before placing anything inside the case safe, read the entire manual. That's so not happening, hello. Number two, watch the overview video. Are you kidding me? Number three, test the case safe lid without it being attached to the base. Using the lid alone and not attached to the base, insert the battery. Okay, wait, let's, let's follow the instructions. I actually have to listen to the instructions on this one. It seems a little more difficult than our previous gadgets. Here it is. This is our safe. Oh yeah, this is the base of our safe. My only real question, are parents really buying this for their kids? Like, why don't they just take it and put it in their room and lock the door? Why do you need a whole safe? I mean, maybe to like get the point across, like I'm locking it up in jail or something. I don't know. So we're going to shove the batteries into this battery hole and follow the next instructions I guess. We're in action. We got the batteries in. Now we have to continue reading the whole entire manual. Step two, test setting it for one minute. Dang, you could set this thing for days. Here we go. We're testing it for one minute. I don't know. How do you start it? Three, two, one. Oh, I get it. So basically, you set the timer by rotating this dial, and then when you're ready to set it, you push it down, and then it gives you five seconds to change your mind, and then it's gonna lock. So we have it set right now for one minute because that is what these instructions told us to do. I pretty much get the gist of it. We got 23 seconds left, and let's lock some stuff up. So the first thing I wanna lock up in here is this padlock. So that's, this is the idea. You just shove a bunch of stuff in here that maybe your kids shouldn't use or maybe they're on punishment. This is really pointless to me because I don't have any kids. Why would I want to lock any of my stuff up? We're free. So we're definitely locking this padlock in here. So here's the idea. I want to give you guys a good look. Here's the safe. It's called a K safe. I don't know why, but you just shove whatever you want to lock up inside. I feel like we should lock some more stuff up. All right. Here is our case safe. We filled it up with some randomness. We got a controller in there, a Rubik's Cube, that dirty padlock that is useless, and this flashlight. All right, so you set this little thing on top here, right? You see that? You set your time. So maybe you want it in there for, oh, I don't know, a freaking hundred hours. No, we don't. So this is how you kind of control how long it's in there for. So right now it's in there for a day and five hours and nine minutes. That's definitely too long. Let's do one minute again. There we go. Oh, that's 11 hours and 19 minutes. Hold up. Okay, so there, we have it set to be in here for one minute. Once you're ready, you push down this little button. Then you have five seconds to change your mind. So push that. Then it starts to count down from five. So if you want to be like, no, you can lift this up. But we want it in there. Oops. Oopsies. I don't know why. I thought I'd be fast enough to like take, take it off and quickly put it back on. It didn't work. So now I have to wait a a whole minute until we can actually lock the stuff in here for a real minute. I guess this is pretty cool. I don't know. I don't think I would ever use this on my children. Like, if I ever had children, I don't think I'd use this. I don't know, maybe. I feel like this is something my mom would have tried to use on me and my sister, but me and my sister wouldn't have gone for it at all. Nope. We would have found a way to break it open. Okay. So here's the safe. It's still set for one minute, and this time we're not going to take it off. So, boom. Five, four, three, two... One. All right, it's locked up. Here it is, the case safe. Lock your child up for a couple of days. They should make a bigger one of these. Would that just be prison? Would that just be called jail? <laughs> jail. Apparently you're supposed to lock your temptations up in here for that many days. I'm trying to think in my life, where would this be useful? I don't like nowhere. Like I can't imagine myself using this at all for anything. Like if you're tempted, just throw it away. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever use this. Just because I'd be scared to lock my stuff up for longer than I actually want. We're free. Ah! How do you turn it off? There should definitely be like a kill switch on here, like a turn off button, just in case you accidentally lock the base up, because it's like really easy to spin this and then just tap it, you know? So be careful. Time to rate that product out of five stars. I rate it a 
personally, I give it, I give it three out of five stars. And I'm giving it three out of five stars because two things. One, I feel like a lot of things could go wrong with this case safe. I feel like you can accidentally end up locking, you know, something important in there for way longer than you intend to. And then you might be screwed. Second deduction is because I just personally can't see myself ever using this ever. But I give it three stars because it does what it says it does. It locks stuff up for a certain amount of time. It's cool. Not really. Maybe I give it a two out of five. What would you give this product? I don't really know. It's not, you know, completely useless. On to the next product. Does anybody know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, bro? I got the daisy, right? But what do you do next? Last product of the video. I've been holding this one because I've been so excited for it. This is a laser projection keyboard. I definitely have seen this all over TikTok and it just looks so cool. So you can use it with your smartphone, your tablet, your computer, or your video game console. How does that work? Uh, yeah, let's open it up. So here it is, the laser projection keyboard. So we got some cords. I think this might be the coolest gadget if it works. I have been anticipating this because I don't know, I think this is really cool. Look how small it is. It's like super small. You can just kind of throw it anywhere. And whenever you need to like type something or write something, whip it out. Let me see if it's got any battery. Why are you yelling? <gasps> it already is projecting to the keyboard on my face. First thing we need to do is connect it to Bluetooth to my phone so that it can register when I type. Power on. Then left blue LED will be blinking, indicating the laser projection keyboard is searching for new device. Oh, it's searching right now. Here it is. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says laser projection keyboard. I'm gonna click on that and hopefully it pairs. It paired. All right, let's go to my desk. All right, so we're over by my desk. I have the laser projection keyboard right here. So you basically just set it somewhere and then like there's your whole keyboard. That is actually really, really cool. So let's give this a try. Let's go to my notes to see if this will. Oh, wait, I gotta type on here. All right, let's see. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh, that's cool. Wait, let me go back. That is so cool. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's see if it can keep up. I'm a very fast typer. I type super fast. So I'm about to test this out. You guys can see the laser projected keyboard, and I'm going to write you guys a message. Hello, everyone. Why is it not? Okay. If I hold down shift. It makes it capital. That's really cool. The only thing is, it's not like typing as fast as my hands are moving. That's cool. It's so weird. I'm typing is right. So it's not like, it's not getting my message perfectly. It's not really picking up my message properly. It's because my hands are moving too fast, I think. But that's a cool concept. What do... Like, do you think out of so I do think this is a cool product, but it does not keep up with like my hands. Like I'm, I'm, I'm typing pretty fast. And if I was typing on a real keyboard, it would pick it up immediately. I don't really like the fact that I can hear the. I feel like you should be able to turn that off somewhere. I feel like this is such a cool product, but I do feel like it is ahead of its time. Like, I feel like this should not have been created until like a couple years from now. I don't know. Because when you're watching those Marvel movies, y'all know what I'm talking about when they're just sitting there like an Iron Man. He's like scrolling through stuff in midair and like dragging stuff over and really nothing's there, but in the special effects or whatever, they make it look like He's in a whole computer that's just floating. That's like what this is. It's like a projector, right? And the, I'm not really typing on a keyboard, but it's picking it up. How cool is that? That's way ahead of its time. It does not pick up my, my, my typing. Like I couldn't normally just type as I would type on a keyboard. For that, I don't know how to rate this. I wanna see if it'll really work on my head. I don't know what to rate the product just because I don't think I would ever actually use this. It's a lot faster to just type on the actual phone. But this whole concept and this whole idea is so cool to me that I'm typing on a keyboard that isn't here. So I think for that, I think I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 stars because 
it's not super accurate like if i'm typing super fast it's not picking up my letters as fast as i'm typing them causing my words to be misspelled because it'll like skip letters i guess i don't know i guess i'm typing too fast i don't i don't know but the whole concept the whole idea of it i think is so cool so i'm gonna give that a four out of five stars tiktok came through i got some cool gadgets just by being on tiktok for too long and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know what your favorite gadget was in the community section of this video you guys know my comments are turned off that's youtube guidelines not my choice but if you want to still interact with me two things definitely go follow my spam account at wexyvo3 also if you want to comment head over to my community post and find the community post for this video and leave a comment and i'll comment back so let me know what your favorite gadget was i'm really curious mine would definitely have to be this egg he's so cute hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up hit the post notification bell hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace